There's definitely been an initiative in Naval Aviation to find efficiencies in getting our combat-ready aircraft back on the flight schedule and back in the fight as soon as possible. Due to some declining manning, some declining uh, parts, and just the health and the overall age of our aircraft, that it's taken a little bit more to keep these jets uh, combat ready. The mandate now is uh, that we have 341 uh, up Hornets by October of this year. We have implemented an O-level transformation to uh, get there. The O-level form is the overall mindset is an iterative process to do better and to work with what we have at hand. One of the most common checks that we do on an airplane is called an 84-day check. This check should take, and we've demonstrated it can take, uh, three days to accomplish. Our average is about 10 to 14 days. Boston Consulting Group has been in the, in the hangar to uh, help guide us and, and employ best practices from the aircraft industry. And what they really did is they, they just facilitated change. They were a catalyst. They asked a lot of questions, really just a lot of really good conversations that happened and asking why. Why do we do things this way? The commercial industry has already got the best practices established. They're already proven methods. And I think that the Navy uh, integrating those concepts into what we do only makes us better. We've done maintenance a certain way for many, many years, and we've said this is how we're going to do it, and we've never changed. So this, this is a good opportunity for the O-Level to actually change the way we do business. Some of the things we implemented for the O-Level reform through our industry partner were we, we redid the uh, layout of maintenance control. People walk in and they're like, there's pride in this squadron starting with maintenance control. We took everything out of the shops that was unnecessary and that included parts and components, so they're all in a centralized location. If you physically walk through one of our hangars today, it want, you can tell which ones have been reformed and which ones haven't. So physically in front of the airplanes, there's an easel. You know the exact status of that airplane. You know who's working on that airplane and when they expect that airplane to be. Anybody, everyone can see what is going on with that aircraft at any particular time. You know exactly who's working on it, what they're doing, and what they're going to get done that shift. One of the biggest things that we've done is we've changed our entire concept on how we operate. We've gone to a work center centric organization to a crew leader centric. So we're pushing ownership all the way down to the individual turning wrenches on the aircraft. We can now have one point of contact or what we call crew lead to take ownership and to drive that, you know, to essentially get that aircraft out of the hangar and back and flying as early as possible there. What they do is they, they remove barriers for the work centers. They get the parts and the materials they need. Um, if they need documentation, they're the sole person that can help do that. And then they move the, the uh, inspection along in a timely manner so we can make our, our deadlines. You still have those maintenance controllers that are overall in charge but it empowers those junior guys to get to know the process. And that's a lot of trust that goes into that. And so having that big of a responsibility, that really shows how our leadership has entrusted us to do that. So we are now in a place where our aircraft have individuals working on them all the time. We're driving them out there, we're driving the maintenance and we're driving it in the right order. It actually is working and it's effective. It's making our job more efficient, which in turn lets us build, you know, fix more aircraft and fly more to get those pilots what they need. This is gonna help us maintain the 341 once we get there because they're already the process is in place to make sure that we're doing things the right way. The goal is to keep a sustained O-level transformation because it's not about how we did it and what we've done in those two months, it's what we're gonna continue doing and how we're gonna continue empowering the most junior sailor to capitalize on a potential change of the way we do business. This change is important. Um, we've identified ways that we can improve, we can always improve, and I think that at the end, when we look back, this effort is gonna pay it off. It's gonna pay off. <laughs>